Hi, I'm Kyla Upshaw, and this is Urban Generation. Today we're going to be talking to a group of students that are very close to my heart. It is the Eagle Academy for Young Men. I actually work with these young men. We do a program called the Music Industry Program. And right now I'm sitting with a couple of my favorite students. I have Devante and Kenny with me. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Why don't you tell everybody about Eagle Academy? Tell, tell us about um, why your school is so special. Devante. Um, well, for one, our mission statement, which is CLEAR, it's an acronym. It's confidence, leadership, effort, academic excellence, and resilience. So that pretty much sums up what most of our students are, are like and uh, try to achieve. And try to achieve. So do you feel, Kenny, um, that, uh, that your school is really focused on, on trying to achieve this mission? Um, yeah, I, I think we are because we we're in we live in a small world and we're trying to our school is trying to broaden our horizon and and put us out in the world. What kind of extracurricular programs do they have at Eagle? Um, a lot actually. There's um, programs such as this one, music industry. Uh, there's art programs. There's a program called Build On where they go and do projects for. Um, charities in Africa and stuff like that they go fix parks and like plant trees and do all types of cool ty types of cool stuff and uh, there's other programs such as newspaper club there's a photo book club now for the um, seniors that are leaving uh, not photo books sorry yearbook club um, there's there's other things like they have um, classes after school as well like SAT preps and stuff like that so it's so academics are important. Yes, academics are really important, yeah. as do it says in the mission statement. Right. So, do do you feel that um, that you get the help that you need, so that you know, it's, it's one thing, you know, to, to make a statement. I think every school is going to make a statement and say, you know, academics are important. But what, how do they let you know that that's a focus at Eagle? Um. Well, th the teachers they stay late. Like they they'll stay until seven, eight o'clock at night working with you if you need it. Um, there's computers. If you don't have a computer at home, you can always ask the teacher, can I use a computer? And they'll provide you with that. I'm Devontae Gonzalez. Uh, <laughs> I was an engineer. That was, that was funny. I'm being an actor. Harlem, originally from South Bronx. So now I have with me two of my other favorite students, um, Zakar and Nicholas. Um, and as you can see, they have on different ties. Um, this is a part, of course, of their school uniform. And Nicholas has on his freshman tie, and Zakar has on his senior tie. Can you guys explain a little bit about your whole uniform you age difference? What should I? Yeah. What I think it is with the, the ties, the different stripe colors, well, it definitely has the blue because that's, that's our school color. But as you notice with Zakar's tie, it's there's also gold in it. So what I when I think of that, I think of the jewelry system. With mine is blue is in like cobalt. So you can think of it as a, a birthstone. So it's the step in. And um with the senior tie it's gold and that's one of the most prestigious jewels or elements as some people say. Elements is <laughs> <laughs> and, and and do you remember your you know being a, a fresh were you were you a freshman at the school? Yeah, um, well the freshman tie was different when I was a freshman, but yeah the the it's like um, each year you get a new tie. It's like moving up in ranks, almost like almost military like I guess in a way. I don't like making that comparison, but it's like mm. yeah. But do 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 you feel? That it is prestigious. Like, do you feel that 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 you've earned wearing the senior tie? Yeah, cause it's like um, the way the it was originally set up is like you didn't get the tie unless you had the credits that made you a senior or made you a junior or whatever. So it's like you had to work for the next tie. Oh, nice. And when you look at his senior ties, you are doing that. Like, <laughs> are you looking forward to when you get to rock the the gold tie? Of course, that's. That's basically the highest honor a student can get in school. 
Okay. And blazer. And, and oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. go ahead, tell them. Um, the um, Eagle has this uh, ceremony every year, uh, the senior convocation where all the seniors that are on track to graduate go and um, Banks and the other staff members come and put the the blazers on us as like a symbol of us like taking on everything that they they want for us in the future and like just bringing that with us throughout the rest of our lives. So I have with me my two seniors, um, Royale and Aquino. Aquino has actually been a part of our program since day one of my freshman year. When he was a freshman, exactly. So Aquino, can you please tell us just, you know, how has your exp experience been in the music industry program? Uh, my experience in the music industry program really has been like life-changing, uh, motivational, and it's inspiring because during the, the three years that we've had the program so far, I gained a lot from it because all the work we did and the learning was, it brought more to me because I know more, um, getting involved more in different parts of the industry that don't really pertain to rapping, producing, I'm trying to get into like camera work, being a photographer and everything. So it pushes me more. It not only shows me that music is one way of life, it shows me that media is, a, is also another part of music that I can be a part of and enjoy it still. Well, you've been able to see both sides. Like, you were very creative. Um, I remember your freshman year, you, you wrote the hook for the song, right? Yeah. Wrote the hook, performed the song, and now, you know, you've been, you know, really taking charge with, you know, making sure that, that things are done. I know I can call on you to, you know, you're the, the CEO of our record label, right? Yes, ma'am. So, um... Royale, he just joined us this year. Um, Royale, is this your first year at Eagle? How many years you have you been at Eagle? This is actually my fourth year at Eagle. I'm seeing here now. Mm -hmm. um, I think that the, the in the beginning of the year, I got off to kind of to like a rocky start. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say until like my 11th grade year that like everything started to go the way I wanted it to. So what what was the change in you? Because Royale, he, he he's well known in the school by the faculty as well as by the students. And when I do mention you to the faculty, they have wonderful things to say about you. So what was it that happened, you think, in the 11th year that you know, made you say, okay, it's time for me to be a, a superstar student? Uh, it was just like, in, well, my ninth grade year, I was going through like certain things, like personal family matters and stuff like that. And it just took me a little while to kind of deal with those things. And like by 11th grade year, I was like really Emotionally, emotionally stable, which allowed me to, to better get all my academics, focus on my stuff that I need to go to. Do you feel like that, that the faculty at the school supported you through, you know, whatever you were going through, or do you feel that um, this, was, this, this was you by yourself just, you know, being focused? They helped in as much way as they can, but it was really a personal thing. It was, like, just strictly just me. But, like, I had to realize that, like, uh, well, whatever funk I'm in right now, I can't let it destroy my future. Mm. So I, I just kind of just put my feelings to the side for, to, to let me drive out so I could be able to do what I need to do. Okay, now future, that, that, that's a good point that you just brought up. When you think of your future, Aquino, mm -hmm. um, what do you see? What do you see in your future? Uh, I see me working in the studio, making beats and producing for um, major artists in the music industry. Um, being a family man, supporting my family the way I want to, um, having like just the love and support I need for my family, so I can so I can be motivated to support them more and everything. So tell, don't they have a mentoring program at the school? Yes, they do. Tell, you were telling me about a great program that they have because what? You wanna, tell us a little bit about what you want to do when you get out of school. Oh, when I get out of school, I really just want to work in the emergency room. But I'm put. I really. I'm pushing towards being a, either a doctor or physician assistant. Okay. But I just want to be in the atmosphere of being in the emergency room because the from from a past experience that I had through Eagle, where I was part of the mentor and medicine program that they had. They don't have it this year, but during that time in the program, I was able to shadow this doctor, and I was just able to see all sorts of things from people who had cuts, small cuts on their fingers, to people who had stuff like kidney stones. 
and whatnot. And it was just, I was just able to see like the camaraderie from like the nurses to like the, the PCTs to the doctors. Everyone was working together. It was not like some type of hierarchy it was like the doctors, like the head control, whatever. Everyone was just working together to, to solve these people's problems to get them healthy and on their way. So I just want to be a part of that. That's why I just said I will be wow. the physician system uh, MD. And you and you do you feel confident that you um, can go through medical school and all of the the residency and the training and all those things that it would take to be a doctor? I feel that like 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 I was saying before like with like that that first hump I was having with like like ninth and tenth grade if if I can get over get it out of that funk then there's nothing that can stop me from going. Cause I already, I already know where I want to go, and once I once I get a point of saying, all right, this is where I want to do, and this is where I want to go, nothing can block my way. So you're focused. I'm focused. I'm I'm driven. What about you, Aquino? Do you feel that the school environment is helping you to keep your focus and, and to stay driving? I mean, you guys, one gender school, like you know, just boys. Like, what what do you think about the schools helping you to stay focused? I think the single gender school is really helping me, helping me to be focused. Speaking from past experience, um, I was. Cause you're quite the ladies' man, right? <laughs> 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 Through the brothers of the misunderstood Beneath the heavy fabric of urban clothes Is brotherhood The substance of reluctance is extremely scars Extremely smart No father, my mama played the part My brothers ain't blood related Because there's more to it The joy of music just made our relationship more fluid But the only child went to church Present the holy smiles A holy child To call on my brothers to hold me down Attention was never sent A negligence I had to render She my ultimate defender Brother of a different gender according to calculations according to these relations expectations i wait an eternity your associations another brother always smothers me i could be down to my lowest degree but he looks up to me how bad could his mother be to remove him from custody that's why our bond is way beyond brotherly we'll be brothers in arms you know i'm not far Right from the start, I'm never letting you fall off. I'm never letting you fall. I'm never letting you fall off. I'm never letting you fall. I'm never letting you fall. No matter what may happen, doesn't matter what they say. You're my brother like no other. Keep me strong and lead the way And even when it gets hard Wanna throw in the cards Folding your heart I'm never letting you fall off a lot of people say they love me, but I ain't never feel it. So now wounds that's been afflicted to my soul and never healing. Can't win the love for myself, so I change it for three. In this life, if you ain't part of the pod, don't give a darn for the pee. So what's brotherhood really? Who got the answer for me? See, no one knows like a squirrel don't know that it planted a tree. See, growing up trying to be something in the place I was born in. Never scared of the night. Always scared of the morning, but this school is something that I could reach for the stars in. Scared of the morning because it brought a day that I had to work hard in. But with brothers like these, man, I call them all sergeants. They motivate me harshly, but keep me in line like a margin. So I'm off to college, never scared, <laughs> just a little bit. I do math like Einstein and make professors seem illiterate. It hurt when the brother fall, it's like a chess in my knife. Now I'ma hold this brotherhood stuff for the rest of my life. So brotherhood and me married, for better or worse, came in here humble, but in the end the weak shall inherit the earth. Last line, do y'all, honestly, forget the others, man, lift each other up, see, that's a real brother, man. We'll be brothers in arms, you know I'm not far, right from the start, I'm never letting you fall off, I'm never letting you fall.